Hello Civ fans! Welcome to our developer video for our free August game update. Today we're going to be providing an overview of the free content and new changes coming soon to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. With the Maya and Grand Columbia pack, we added some very, truly unique wonders to the game. Like similar wonders back in Civilization V, we know that they're not for everybody. Especially if you're playing something in multiplayer, you might want to have a more carefully controlled balance. So with that in mind, we've given you more control during the game setup phase with the Natural Wonder Picker. Civilization VI has over 30 wonders that could randomly appear in a map. And we bet that some people haven't seen them all. Or maybe you have some favorite wonders you want to try and see more of. Maybe you have some unfavorite wonders you'd like to see less of. Or maybe you have a cold, cold heart and want to remove all wonders from your games. Natural wonders would still be random, but certain wonders would be excluded or included in your playthrough. This doesn't mean you can determine exactly when and where a certain wonder will appear, like some soothsayer calling down fire from the heavens. Also, don't worry, this list won't affect world builder maps. This month, we're also introducing a new mode for free called the Tech and Civic Shuffle Mode. Pushing back the fog to discover a map's natural wonders, continents, and other surprises is one of the most exciting aspects of a game of civilization. Tech and Civic Shuffle Mode extend that sense of exploration as you journey through tech and civics trees. This is uh, hearkening back to when I played my very first 4X game. One of my friends, he used to play it, and the mode he played with was called Blind Research, which meant that he couldn't exactly know what his next technology was going to be. So this made it easier, because you didn't have to plan ahead as much, but also you couldn't plan ahead as much. So I always thought that this was a really cool idea, and so I wanted to reintroduce it in Civilization VI for everyone. Implementing the randomization of the tech and civics trees was an adventure, as we'd experimented with it during the last era of our Gathering Storm expansion. Tech and Civic Shuffle Mode will hide the identities and positions of each tech and civic, as well as randomize their prerequisites and costs. What won't change is the unlockable for the research. Mining will always unlock mine improvements. The randomized tree will be the same for all players in that game. So the playing field stays level, but with some unexpected surprises along the way. And this is a mode that's free for everybody, even if you don't own Gathering Storm, even if you don't own Rise and Fall, even if you don't own the new Frontier Pass. Everybody. Each update will include changes based on feedback that you have given us online. For this update, we've made some bounce changes and tweaks in Gathering Storm. Forest and jungle fires will tend to burn longer, so they will eventually be in a burnt out state and won't cause endless fires to continue to occur. We also have some great new tweaks to government plaza effects. You can find more details in the full list of patch notes when the update goes live. So that's the free content and changes coming your way in the August game update. Civ fans, you are the best fans in gaming. We so appreciate the chance to read all the conversations, stories, and feedback Keep them coming, follow us on social, and have fun taking one more turn.